inputs coming in on the Aam Admi Party arrested MLA Amanatullah Khan who has been brought to the special judge Vikas to court in connection to the ACB's case against him. Remember, just a while ago, we were telling you that Amanatullah Khan was to be presented before the court today. He has reached the court. He's been presented there by the Delhi Anti-Corruption uh, Branch. And uh, remember, he was arrested on Friday. The case has been gaining uh, much momentum because we know that the ACB's uh, news was tightening around Amanatullah Khan. Uh, for some days, in fact, for months, the ACB had been gathering uh, evidence against Amanatullah Khan. Two more details. I'm also joined in uh, by Akash on the phone line. Uh, Akash, if you could tell us uh, what is uh, the ACB's argument at the moment? So, uh, Akanksha, you know, arguments are going on as of now. And Atul Srivastava, who is appearing for ACB, basically, you know, pointing out several facts as per him. And, uh, you know, the, the main point which he is pointing out is the irregularities in the appointment uh, in the Delhi Buck Board. In fact, he is saying that, you know, in one of the diary entries, it is mentioned that 4 crore cash is for Amana Sahab MLA. So this point is somewhere showing the kind of irregularities and this is what the argument is that Amatullah Khan during the time when he was uh, the chairman of Delhi Waqf Board, in fact he is the current chairman of Delhi Waqf Board, uh, you know, misused his position and misused the fund that was given to the, uh, anti, uh, the, the Delhi Waqf Board. Also, you know, the, the, the lawyer is very much mentioning about the happenings uh, yesterday. Uh, he is mentioning that how, you know, uh, the uh, close aides who were raided yesterday and how 24 lakh cash and mm. some weapons were recovered from these locations. So as of now, argument is going on inside the court, in Rao's Avenue court. And, you know, in some time from now, we'll be hearing from the judge as well as to what he'll decide as far as uh, uh, the uh, remand of Amatullah Khan or he'll be getting a bail or something similar to that. Right, I'm sure that the ACB will be demanding for a remand as well. Having said that, let's talk about uh, the kind of uh, seizures that have happened during uh, the searches that were conducted at Khan's uh, house and uh, the other premises as well. I'm being told that there were unlicensed weapons also recovered because that also tantamounts to it, it is a punishable offence. Right, and you know, at one location, uh, this location was of Hamid Ali. Hamid Ali is now said to be a close aide and in fact business partner of Amanatullah Khan. So, Breta Pistol. Breta Pistol is not an ordinary weapon, Akanksha. Breta Pistol is a semi-automatic weapon mm -hmm. and is, it's an imported weapon. So, it was found and, you know, while we had a word with some officers uh, in ACB, so they said that uh, they, uh, the, the uh, you know, holder was unable to show any sort of license of that particular weapon. Also, a country-made pistol was found at a different location. So, total two weapons were found in this particular case and more than 24 lakh rupees. Also, you know, I want to mention this particular development where the lawyer from ACB is saying that this ill-gotten money was sent to Telangana, Uttarakhand. Now, you know, this is uh, the complaint of corruption where the argument is, in fact, the allegations are that Amatullah Khan, being the chairman of Delhi Work Board, has misused the fund that was given as a grant to, uh, you know, to uh, the Delhi Work Board. And uh, this is why we are seeing the arguments like this where the lawyer is saying that we are at initial stage of investigation and we need thorough interrogation of this man so that we can find out the actual thing. So now it is clear that ACB is clearly asking for the demand because they are saying that they are at the clear uh, initial stage of investigation as, and as of now they want to investigate uh, this particular matter. And, you know, he has shown his income to be 4 lakh, but he is receiving cash in crores and lakhs. This is what the argument is from the ACB side. We are still to hear from Rahul Mehra, who is appearing uh, from uh, 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 from the side of Amatullah Khan. But uh, clearly, you know, they are, ECB is, uh, as of now is asking for the remand and they are putting forth the arguments as of now. Absolutely. And considering this is uh, uh, a case which is under investigation by the ACB as well, the fact that, uh, you know, there has been no resignation expected from him, uh, from uh, his position of uh, as far as uh, him being the chairman of the board is concerned is equally shocking. What has the Aam Party got to say? Yes, and uh, you know, Akansha, I want to mention this very point. You must be remembering the time when ACB, uh, you know, uh, asked uh, Lieutenant Governor to remove Amatullah Khan from his position because this was the same case where it was alleged that he was threatening the witness in this particular case. Right. And, you know, it was just a few days back when we saw this development. However, you know, he was not removed from the position. 
but you know this happened day before yesterday when he was served with a notice and uh, you know acb officers asked him to uh, join the investigation and he very much appeared before the acb officers but simultaneously when these raided were, raids were conducted and uh, you know these weapons were recovered so he was confronted with these facts that how uh, you know these weapons were recovered uh, from the close aids in fact you know we we have we have been told that uh, some sort of documents were in fact re recovered and these documents were in concern with the same case and that's the reason why later in the evening amatullah khan was arrested now talking about the political aspect of this story mm. so amadmi party is very much saying that just because amadmi party is fighting in gujarat that's mm. the reason why amatullah khan has been arrested and in fact you know we saw the tweet of arvind kejriwal where he is anticipating that some more mlas in the days to come would be arrested by uh, different agencies because they are saying that central government is somewhere misusing central agency and this is the reason why amatullah khan has been arrested and in fact it was mentioned that uh, amatullah khan is not the only one because we have seen the development where you know several ministers of the aam aadmi party government hmm. uh, were uh, uh, tried by several agencies by right. uh, investigated by several agencies in fact you know talking about manish sisodia who is the deputy chief minister of delhi he was in fact uh, his premise was even searched by cbi in fact right. an fir has been filed by cbi you know where, akash uh, that uh, also material. brings me to my next question which of course remains how in terms of uh, the, the the clean image that the aam aadmi party has been boasting about so far remember this is a party which as according to uh, arvin Kejriwal was based on the premise of being an anti-corruption party. Uh, whether it is allegations of money laundering, as far as Satyan Jain is concerned, uh, or, or the excise policy uh, flagged off by Sisodia is concerned, and now Aman Mithula Khan. Uh, the fact of the matter is that the Aam Aadmi Party can no more uh, boast about being a clean party. Right, and you know this is the reason why BJP now says that Aam Aadmi Party is actually corrupt party, and we will be exposing this party. and you must be remembering that they have you know in fact released several sting operations and uh, in which they are claiming that uh, uh, several people who have been named in the fir that has been filed by cbi are basically are saying it on camera that yes excise policy somewhere benefited the leaders of aam aadmi party in fact aam aadmi party and aam aadmi party used this fund in uh, uh, elections of punjab and goa now talking about this particular point yes from the day one aam aadmi party is saying that they are kattar imandar party and in fact you know you must be remembering the time when enforcement directorate arrested uh, satyendra jain at that time in fact you know aam aadmi uh, arvind kejriwal maintained that he knows satyendra jain personally and he is a kattar imandar uh, aadmi uh, on the other hand we saw that how at this point in time satyendra jain is in custody and you know he is not getting the bail in fact arvind kejriwal mentioned this very point that you know uh, the agency is unable to produce any sort of evidences in in uh, in court and also in case of manish sisodia they don't have any sort of uh, evidences but just because central government want to harass aam aadmi party leaders they are doing so also uh, you know arvind kejriwal has maintained this in fact aam aadmi party is saying that the amatullah khan's case is a fabricated case and you know there are no merits in this case however at this point in time this important argument and important case important hearing in fact is going on where amatullah khan has been produced right. in rajasthan court and you know we have to take into gujarat and telangana this is what acb is maintaining as of now this is the latest development where anti corruption branch of delhi is basically telling court that they need to investigate this particular case and that's the reason why they want to take him into custody because they need to take him to gujarat and telangana where they are saying that this money was transferred so this is the big, the biggest development right. where acb officers in fact the lawyer is putting forth these arguments akanksha